Well, Tyler, the way you performed the other night, you get a chance to get right back in. It's got to make you feel good, doesn't it, that you were able to make the good impression. You only get one chance to make a first impression, I say. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, again, it just felt good to, to go out there and play my game and be able to con contribute. Um, but it can't just be a one-night thing. Got to be able to do it uh, night in and night out and continue to try and help the team win games. And not playing in a very bad spot either uh, out there with Brandon Dubinsky and Boone Jenner, so some talented veteran guys. How much easier does that make it for you? Oh, definitely. Um, as you mentioned, veteran guys that have been around, they play the right way. Um, just try and learn as much as I can and uh, be able to contribute um, and try to play a similar style of game as those guys do. Yeah, and it's funny because you take the spot of Cam Atkinson there right now, which uh, you're similar in stature, and you just want to be similar in the way you play, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, obviously, there's no replacing a guy like him, uh, but just trying to, to step into the lineup and fill a hole and just be able to contribute. How easy has it been for you and just the, you know, the whirlwind? Not that you haven't been through it before from the minors back to the NHL and just trying to get acclimated now, taking off and going on a road trip. Yeah, uh, obviously it's crazy. Thing, things happen quickly, but you got to be able to adjust. Uh, it's part of the job. Uh, you got to stay on your toes, but always be ready when the opportunity comes. Well, I was just teasing you before we started this about Zach Wierenski, your old college uh, teammate here. And at least at least you have that. And you had that in training camp. You knew that when you got traded over here. But how much are you leaning on him right now? Oh, a ton. Um, he's been great since, since day one, since uh, since the trade over here. Um, just been able to, to answer questions, anything I have. I'm sure you might get a little annoyed with me at times. Um, but he's always always there, has an answer for me or, or points me in the right direction. So it's, it's great. But not only him, uh, you know, all the guys have been have been good to me um, getting acclimated. I want to ask you one more thing about him because you played with him in college, so you know him personally in college too. I, I thought last year he was the, the consummate rookie. He was quiet, he knew his role, minded his own business, and he wound up being a finalist for the Calder Trophy for Rookie of the Year. Uh, this year he seems to be a little bit more vocal, very confident in himself. Is that the guy that you saw playing together at Michigan? Yeah, a little, little bit of both. Um, obviously, he's a guy that, that keeps to himself at times, and but he always works hard. He always does the right things. Um, you know, he kind of leads by example um, for the most part, but when he talks, he says the right things. And I think after you know, the performance he, he had last year and the, the confidence and um, you know, the team knows what he brings, so they, they listen anytime he has something to say, but you know, he's still, still the same guy uh, you know, inside. This road trip, you've got Florida first, and then you've got Tampa. It's very easy to look ahead to Tampa on a Saturday night, knowing what they're doing in the league, and knowing how good they have been. But how much do you have to make sure as a team that you don't get caught in a trap game against the Panthers? Oh, absolutely. You got to focus, you know, one day at a time. Um, we took care of our business today here at practice. We're gonna, you know, get our get our travel day in. But it's right right into business. It's got to be a business trip mentality. Um, you know, going in and getting points on the road um, can really help in the long run here, especially in the season. It's not bad either when you wake up and there's like winter mix in Columbus and you wind up in Florida before the end of the day. No, it'll it'll be nice to top off a plane and take off a coat and a hat for once for for a few days. But um, still got I still got to focus on hockey.